There have been a ton of new PlayStation 4 games recently revealed, and I want to go over all of those. We have a significant RPG announced yesterday and a bunch of other big titles, so without further ado, let's get right into it. And before we get into everything, I just want to remind you guys to make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so you are always notified of uploads, and that definitely helps out the channel too, so we always appreciate that. And let's kick things off with the biggest announcement, and that is Diablo 4 has been announced for PlayStation 4, and we don't know when it's gonna be coming, but yesterday at BlizzCon, it was officially announced. The game got a cinematic trailer, we saw some gameplay of the game, and it is looking phenomenal. An ancient evil threatens to engulf sanctuary in darkness, and new heroes have been called upon to face challenges the world has never seen before. Today, Blizzard Entertainment announced Diablo 4, the highly anticipated next entry in its genre-defining action RPG series, the newest installment of Diablo, was announced during BlizzCon 2019 where attendees were eager to be first in the world to play a public demo of the game. Diablo 4 draws players into a grim storyline and gives them the freedom to explore and forge their own path across the most expansive and intense vision of the world of Sanctuary, a bleak and shattered hellscape bereft of hope and beset by demons. They revealed a plethora of information about the game, a ton to get into, which I'm not going to get into in this video, but just to give you guys an overall insight, in Diablo 4 players will attempt to bring hope back to the world by vanquishing evil in all its vile incarnations. From cannibalistic demon-worshipping cultists to the all-new drowned undead that emerge from coastlines to drag their victims to a watery grave. For the first time in the series, Sanctuary will be seamless landmass, compromising diverse regions ranging from the burning desert of Kajistan to the verdant werewolf in Infested forests of Skogsland to the harsh and rugged wilderness. Also, we got insight into the first three of Diablo 4's character classes, all playable at the show: the Barbarian, the Sorceress, and the Druid. Very excited to hear more about Diablo 4. I don't know if it's gonna be released in 2020, and it's only been detailed for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, but one would have to think it would ultimately be coming to the PlayStation 5 and next Xbox, given that Diablo 3 initially launched on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and then ultimately it did come to the PS4 on Xbox One, I imagine something very similar happens here as well. Also announced that BlizzCon was Overwatch 2. Yes, Overwatch will be getting a follow-up, and Overwatch 2 is a supercharged sequel that will send players deeper into the world and story of Overwatch and build upon the original game's critically acclaimed foundation of world-class player versus player competition. In Overwatch 2, players will take on the roles of the world's heroes in cooperative missions that challenge them to team up, power up, and stand together against an overwhelming outbreak of threats around the globe. Players will also battle each other in the next evolution of competitive Overwatch play, which carries forward existing players' accomplishments and loot collections and features the current complete Overwatch roster, a new generation of heroes, new internationally recognizable maps that widen the scope of the world, a new push map type, and much more. In the sequel's action-packed cooperative story missions, players will experience the advent of a new Overwatch as Winston, Tracer, and other members of the original Overwatch join forces with a new generation of heroes. Players will take on an active role in the Overwatch saga as a new global crisis unfolds through a series of intense, high-stakes four-player missions. As the story progresses, players will team up as different sets of heroes and fight to defend the world from omnic forces of Null Sector, uncover the motives behind the robotic army's attacks, and come face-to-face -face with rising new threats around the globe. You've also got hero missions where the Overwatch team will be called upon to go beyond their limits as they deploy across the planet defending cities against robot invasions, taking on elite talent agents, and battling the villainous forces, laying siege to the world. In this highly replayable mode, players can level up their favorite heroes and earn powerful customization options that supercharge their abilities in cooperative play, such as altering Reinhardt's fire strike to ignite nearby enemies, or modifying Tracer's pulse bomb to cause a devastating chain reaction, granting the extra edge they need against the overwhelming odds. Overwatch 2 also represents the beginning of a new era for the series' world-renowned competitive 6v6 multiplayer, in addition to carrying forward all of the original game's heroes, maps, and modes, as well as existing Overwatch players' accomplishment and loot collections, the sequel adds multiple new playable heroes to the ever-growing roster, widens the scope of the world with even more maps and locations, and adds a new push map type in which two teams compete to make a robot. 
push the map's objective to their opponent's side. Kinda sounds like a MOBA to me, but we'll figure out how that turns out. Overwatch 2 also is set to renew Bill Blizzard's commitment to continuing supporting the existing Overwatch community. Current Overwatch players will battle side by side with Overwatch 2 players in player versus player multiplayer. In addition, current Overwatch players will be able to play Overwatch 2 heroes and maps, ensuring the core player versus player experience remains dynamic and vital for today's community in the Overwatch 2 era. More details on Blizzard's plan, including some of the new heroes joining the fray, will be announced in the future as development continues. Again, no release with no announce for this either, but it was announced for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. I imagine next generation versions would also be coming sometime down the line. Alright, so those were the two major titles announced coming out of BlizzCon for the PlayStation 4. Other titles I want to also go over, Moziak is coming to the PlayStation 4 on December 5th. The surreal adventure game is headed to the PS4. It just dropped on Apple Arcade, but it has you live in a monotonous and repetitive lonely life in a cold, overpopulated, ever-expanding city. The phone is distracting you with meaningless notifications as you move through anonymous crowds on your way to work at a mega corporation where yet another long day with overtime awaits. You have no real sense of meaning until one crucial day when strange things start to happen on your commute to work and every everything changes. Mosiac is a dark, surrealistic, and atmospheric adventure game about urban isolation and the dread of being a piece in a giant machinery you can't understand. From the creators of Among the Sheep, Quillbite Studio is going from horrors of childhood to the dreadful, lonely adult life. Think it's something that's incredibly relatable, unfortunately, and Mosiac will be headed to the PlayStation 4 come December 5th. Next up, we have Lithium Inmate 39 Relapsed Edition out November 5th on the PlayStation 4. The enhanced version gives players a better, darker look at the creepy creatures and adds new trophies and items. They've also added brand new cutscenes created with the intent of immersing you into Lithium Shadows, frightening you, then leaving you alone to walk in your own path. If you want a quality horror title, this is definitely going to be something to look at. Unfortunately, it kind of missed that window of being released right at time for Halloween. Nonetheless, being released shortly thereafter works as well. While Inmate 39 is a harmless little creature trapped in a horrific world his mid has created, you must help him escape this traumatic reality by collecting clues and putting the pieces of his life together. From time to time, Inmate 39's alter ego, a deadly creature, will come to his aid, destroying everything in his path. Playing as the helpless and small inmate and switching to the big deadly ally will present a fun and interesting gameplay experience. Also, now you can get new trophies, get new items, and explore areas in the dark. Again, Lithium Inmate 39 will be out on November 5th. Next up, we have Transient, and we've gotten a gameplay reveal trailer for that. The Lovecraftian cyberpunk thriller will be due out in 2020. It notes, in a distant post-apocalyptic future, what remains of the population of mankind lives in an enclosed citadel called Dome City Providence, created to survive the harsh outside environment, and this mankind's final refugee, Randolph Carter, a member of a notorious hacker-for-hire group called Odin, accidentally stumbles across the terrifying truth, a truth that might tear apart his own sanity and lead him to question his very existence. The game is Lovecraft, meaning cyberpunk delve deep into an obscure dystopian world and a hold from your consciousness while you explore enigmatic networks where change is permanent but reality is only temporary to find out what is going on traverse between real and artificially created worlds ominous but lush graphics created with unreal engine 4 secrets and easter eggs and a haunting atmospheric soundtrack again transient is due out for the playstation 4 in 2020 next up this is one i talked a little bit about yesterday but disco elysium the open world rpg that launched a critical acclaim for pc back in october of this year is now coming to playstation 4 in 2020 disco elysium is a phenomenal game it's a groundbreaking open world RPG. You're a detective with a unique skill system at your disposal and a whole city block to carve your path across. Interrogate unforgettable characters, crack murders, or take bribes, become a hero, or an absolute disaster of a human being. There's an unprecedented level of freedom of choice. Intimidate, sweet talk, resort to violence, write poetry, sing karaoke, dance like a beast, or solve the meaning of life. Disco Elysium is the most faithful representation of desktop RPG ever attempted in video games. Countless tools for role-playing, a revolutionary dialogue, Dialogue system with unforgettable characters carve your path across the city and it is a relatively mature game as well so bear that in mind and the game is due out on the PlayStation 4 sometime in 2020. Very much excited for that. All right, next up, we have a very charming game. The PlayStation 4 version of Light Fairy Tale Episode 1 will launch on November 
25th. The latest PlayStation blog, The Drop Post, has confirmed that. It's a 3D turn-based Japanese-style RPG set in a dying underground world ruled by a fierce and powerful empire. The goal of this project is to bring back the immersion and emotion of 90s era JRPG but with modern graphics and gameplay system. A long time ago, the world was prosperous, technology and sciences were quite advanced, and people lived in a great pleasure and casual excess. However, this proved their undoing when the world seemingly in an instant was destroyed as they knew it forever. Desperate and forlorn, the survivors of civilization resorted to fleeing to the only place on the planet where it was still possible to live the underground. And so there they stayed and survived. Thousands of years later, the history of the surface has been forgotten, left to dust, and the wealth of the past lost to time. Even the very word sky has lost all meaning. Again, Light Fairy Tale Episode 1 for PS4 will be dropping November 5th. And lastly, we have Phoenix Point. Phoenix Point will be headed to the PlayStation 4 after its Epic Game Store launch, coming sometime later in 2020. It's a new strategy game from the creator of the original XCOM series. It features turn-based tactics and world-based strategy in a fight against terrifying alien menace, which will mutate and evolve in response to your tactics, creating a huge variety of challenges and surprises for you on the battlefield. Again, Phoenix Point is due out late 2020 for the PlayStation for and that's gonna conclude this video again eight pretty notable titles have been revealed uh, to varying degrees Diablo 4 overwatch 2 uh, Disco Elysium I would say are pretty massive reveals while we still have some other lower key reveals rounding things out that's gonna conclude this video sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.